Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I decided to uh, give you guys a little bit of a uh, a special episode. Um, now you guys know that I love running the M55 which is the 8 inch howitzer version of the M5355 um, and I call her Tornado. Well, tonight we're going to go the other half of that, which is the M53 half. And we're going to run the 155mm cannon and show you the difference between the two. Okay, we're on Karelia in the rain. Um, and you can see the difference right off the bat. You see a much longer barrel, much smaller barrel. Um, you're talking a barrel that is literally right around 48 millimeters smaller in diameter somewhere in there don't quote me on it it's close to that <laughs> but anyway I don't remember uh, M55 is the 8 inch which is 203.25 I believe and we've got the 155 on this so they're they're very uh, very different and they have very different characteristics first is this has a reload time with all my perks and everything uh, about the best you can get plus I run Kula um, this has a reload time of right at 17 seconds alright compared to the M55 which is 25 seconds so right there you've got a huge advantage already um, and the gun is more accurate instead of a .82 dispersion I believe it's a .6 dispersion, which is pretty accurate for artillery. All right, so it's faster firing, more accurate, and uh, the aim time on this is the next thing you're going to notice, which is six seconds, which is two seconds faster than the M55 eight-inch howitzer. All right, so now you've got to be asking yourself why I would ever drive the eight-inch howitzer rather than this 155 miller gun and I just gotta say that it doesn't have the boom alright the, there's a certain factor of being in an artillery that one shots things that don't normally get one shot at now that guy on the other hand had it coming <laughs> I say it doesn't bring the boom and right off the bat I get a 1200 roll and kill that poor leopard <laughs> But he had it coming. Or Lorraine. I think it was the Lorraine. Um, but, I mean, here's a shot out on the T-62. And there's a 500 roll, which is probably what you're going to get more often than not. You're going to get the low 500s, 450 rolls on anything that's got any armor. Uh, and that has to be a direct impact. Now, you don't get the splash distance that you get with the other. Oh, here's the T-62 again. I put the shot out. He gets tracked. We hit him. 453 on the back. So we must have hit his turret, and it must have not pinned. So again, there's the low roll right off the bat. So you're starting to see why I don't really go for this. If I'd have hit that guy like that with the 8-incher, he's done. Uh, but right here we've got three tanks surrounding our E-50, and they're going to tear him to pieces. So I get this shot, I line up, pull the trigger, and I get the Leopard for another 1,200 roll. You know, broadside on to a 155 millimeter howitzer, that's a paddling. Basically, broadside on to any howitzer is a paddling. But we managed to help this E-50, and all it is is down to him, and he rams the guy. He's heavier, takes no damage himself, but rams the other man to death. So that was a very good move by him. We just took that left side and, and shoved it down their throat. And that had all the intentions of that E-50M not surviving. Uh, so we're aiming in too late. Alright, so now we've got a tank down here. That's a Chieftain. Aiming in. And you can see the reticle squeezes in much faster. It takes about six seconds from full bloom. Shot out. And there's this thing that you're going to start to see with the 155 as well. Now the 155 I believe can shoot across any map in this game. There, It, it is literally maximum distance. It can, it can shoot anywhere in the game. And here's a bad shot by me. 
And I look away thinking I'm going to get a kill, and then I'm like, wait a second, he didn't die? And the shot literally lands right next to him, and because it's 155 millimeters, it didn't even splash the T-34. And now he's like, I think I'll just go up and hide next to the rock, which was a good plan. So shot out again, and we hit the rock again. And that's what I'm talking about. So because the 155 can shoot straight all the way across the maps on all the maps, that means it has a narrower, a narrower firing arc, which means things that normally wouldn't be in your way using the 8-inch howitzer are in your way now, uh, such as that little bank. The 8-inch, uh, and there you can see me fire uh, just to see exactly what the reload was, which was 17 seconds. Okay, so basically you get pros and cons with everything and the cons to the 155 versus the pros of the M55 is so much uh, better. You get the uh, narrower firing arc so more things are in your way and uh, you don't get the boom. You hit for 450 to 500 instead of 800 or 900. But anyway, if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button for me. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.